So as you think about the last, you know, 20, 30 years in the industry, from where you started looking at, you know, quality on the employer side, then you had the High Tech Act, as mm-hmm. you mentioned. Mm-hmm. Now we have, you know, CMMI and value-based payments right. that are kind of further incentivizing us to think about metrics right. and reporting. Are those kind of initiatives or policy levers kind of critical to accelerating this momentum? Or what yes. do you see as kind of the next decade look like in terms of kind of solving the data issues and actually Yeah, well, seeing- we're hopeful because... There are a lot of people working on this, and CMS itself and, and the states, the Medicaid programs, are on this. They're very aware of um, how the system falls short, and they understand it, and um, they're trying to drive change. So CMS has said quality measures are going to have to be reported digitally by 2025, which is very ambitious. Um, but, you know, I, there's, there's a lot of progress being made in a lot of systems. But it's very uneven throughout the country. And, you know, particularly in classic Medicare, um, you know, people have supplemental insurance. That data is separate from the Medicare claims data. There's no accountability. It's kind of a mess. Um, Medicare Advantage has been uh, kind of a bright light of the right model, in my view. But during COVID, they backed off on a lot of cl- clinical quality measures, so they're they're much more... Uh, less heavily weighted now in the stars. So we, we have a lot of work to do.